Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a K-Beauty haul that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And I actually have this big, giant box of stuff that I ordered from Mimi Box. I had built up a lot of my Mimi points or credits on their site and decided to just go ahead and cash them in all at once. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Because I love this thing so much, I have to share it first. I cannot try to keep it from you guys the entire video. I just, I have to tell you about it right away. And it's this adorable little Hello Kitty. Clarisonic, it's not by Clarisonic, it is by Sanrio, but it's a little vibrating face brush, but it's a Hello Kitty one. Now the bristles on this do feel very soft and a lot more flexible than my Clarisonic, which I actually really like because even the softest brush on the Clarisonic can sometimes be a little bit abrasive on my skin. I do have pretty sensitive skin, so I can't use the Clarisonic every single day. I don't even think it's recommended to be used every day, but I use it maybe a few times a week. Whereas with this, I do feel like it's something I probably could get away with using every single day just because the bristles are a lot more soft. It actually says on the box that it has a vitamin C brush, which I don't really know what that means. I don't know if the bristles are like um, infused with vitamin C because there isn't any like cleanser that comes with it. Yeah, it says vitamin C brush, which I've never heard of before. And yeah, it just feels really, really soft on the skin. Very, very gentle. I feel like this is very sensitive skin friendly, which is a thousand percent me. I just feel like it's gonna make me so much more excited to wash my face at night, just knowing that I get to use this little guy. I think it is so cute, but I'll definitely let you know my thoughts probably in a future video, um, how it works out and how I like it and everything. Okay, so this is something that's also really cool and I'm very excited to try out. It's by the company SUM. I don't know how you pronounce it, if it's Suem or some, um, but this is their Miracle Rose Cleansing Stick. This is the first time I've ever tried a cleansing stick out, and I know cleansing sticks and moisturizing sticks are becoming more and more popular, I think, here in the States. Let's just talk about the packaging. It is the most perfect, beautiful packaging I've ever seen. Like, this just calls my name because it's this beautiful, pale, baby pink color and then it has the brand name written in the super shiny gold on the front and when you look at it it's this really beautiful kind of milky pink color it looks really creamy and smooth and super soothing but also if you look closely you can see that there are real rose petals throughout the cleanser which i thought was such a cute little detail and i don't know if that is something where the rose petals are supposed to act like a mild exfoliator on the skin or if it's just for aesthetic reasons but I still thought it was really cute. I am trying out a moisturizing stick right now by e.l.f. and I kind of feel in between about it, but I'll probably let you know my thoughts on that in a future video. Next thing I got is by Innisfree and this is their Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. Honestly, I need another cleanser, like I need a hole in the head. I have so many cleansers in my bathroom, which I'm sure you guys will probably see in my skincare declutter that I'm gonna do, but I have a lot going on in there, so I really didn't need another cleanser, but I didn't learn until recently that this brand is actually known mostly for their cleansers, so I really wanted to go ahead and try it out, and this one in particular got really great reviews. The next thing I'm very intrigued by, it's the Inno Face Cosmetics Body Jelly Wash Brightening Melt. And I know there are two different versions of this on Mimi Box's website. There is the Brightening Milk one as well as like a peppermint one. But I was more interested in the Brightening Milk just because I was very curious about what that would smell like or look like. And so that is the one I decided to get. It's kind of like a semi-firm jelly texture and you do use this as a body wash in the shower. Now the smell, Honestly, I'm not super crazy about it. It's not that it smells bad. It just kind of has more of a perfumey scent than I was expecting it to smell like. It almost has kind of like a true bar of soap smell, like a very soapy scent. I don't know if that's making any sense, but it's not a bad smell. It's just not exactly what I was expecting. But yeah, I'm very curious to try this out in the shower. I'm also kind of curious to see the look on my boyfriend's face when he sees it in the shower, if I just had it like <laughs> sitting on the like shower edge just by itself. I would love to see his reaction. So excited about both of those things. I have a makeup product. This one is by Hope Girl and this is their Sebum Control Pore Pact. This is a little compact and I was very intrigued by this because of the color that it comes in. So here is a little compact. It's got this little like cheetah print 
on the front and then you open it up and it has a little tiny powder puff like that and then the powder itself as you can see is like a very light minty green color and I think this is supposed to be a compact that's just basically for touch-ups or around like the oily parts of your skin to really help keep the oil at bay but I was mostly intrigued by the fact that it was a green powder and I am assuming that it's green to help with like redness on the skin which I do suffer from and there is a little swatch of it there you can see it doesn't have a really strong green cast to it which is nice so it doesn't look like you're just applying a straight green powder to your skin but it does seem to have a little subtle hint of a minty green in there but it is a really nice super smooth lightweight feeling powder so I'm very excited to try this out on my skin. I love the idea of color correcting powders. I haven't really tried too many yet. So this is going to kind of be my first color correcting type of powder I've ever used. The next thing is by the brand Recipe and this is their cleansing oil and rose petal. So it's a cleansing oil that looks like this, but as you can see, when you flip it around, it has real rose petals running through it, which I just thought was so pretty. I really do like the idea of cleansing oils as well as because I know that they're really good for anti-aging since they're so hydrating and moisturizing on the skin. I have a little blush and it's by Lazy and Easy which I think is a line created by Holika Holika but the products all have this little guy on them. I forget what his name is. I think it starts with a G but it's just this little like egg yolk character. And I think the concept behind Lazy and Easy is that it's supposed to be makeup and skincare for the lazy girl or the person that doesn't really want to do a lot of work, aka myself. So it comes with this little tiny puff and then the blush itself has this little overlay. It's upside down right now because I did already open it, but the overlay just has like his little butt hanging out underneath what looks like to be a piece of bacon. And in the pan, it does look kind of like a warm strawberry pink type of peachy sort of color which i really loved and this shade i believe is called grapefruit it's the lazy and easy jelly dough blusher so the texture of this is kind of similar to a bouncy blush i've never owned a bouncy blush i've touched them before though like in store and tested them out but i've never owned one so i can't give you a true comparison in terms of the texture but it definitely has a lot of like squishiness and flexibility in there the color itself looks like that it's definitely not as deep and warm as it looks inside the pan it actually comes off more of like a warm baby pink tone the next thing is another thing by Innisfree. This is their No Sebum Mineral Powder. And this is something that I always see sold out on a lot of different K-beauty sites and like skincare sites in general. I always see this guy sold out and has really, really great reviews. And it's just a simple powder. It comes in a little compact like this, again, with a little puff. And then the powder itself, I'm not gonna open it just because I don't wanna make a huge mess, but it just looks like a white translucent powder. And this is supposed to be really good for oil absorption, especially for like the T-zone. I think it's also good for touch-ups and things like that. But this got really, really good reviews. Plus it's super affordable. So I really wanted to go ahead and try it out. I have this light light eye balm by the company wonder Ruchi or wonder Ruchi. i don't know how you pronounce it and here is what it looks like it's actually not much of like a true balmy type of texture it does feel a little bit like a mixture of a mousse and a balm and a cream all at once but it does feel very very silky and hydrating and soft on the skin i'm hoping that it's definitely going to help with my under eye dryness and maybe just have more of a hydrating finish i guess you could say on the under eye than like a regular cream i have this my brow tattoo pack in mocha brown and this is supposed to be kind of like a semi permanent eyebrow treatment and it is in the shade Mocha Brown. Now this was the only color that I saw on Mini Box's website. So I don't know if they were sold out of other shades or if this is maybe the more popular color. It has a little like brush tip applicator that looks like this. So this is supposed to give you kind of like semi permanent brows, like an eyebrow tattoo. I kind of feel like this is the poor man's alternative to microblading since I am that poor man. I cannot afford to get my eyebrows microbladed right now, but I feel like this is kind of a fun experiment or alternative to that. 
So yeah, there's that. Next thing I got is this Witch Piggy Hell Pore Control 97% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And the front of it is a little piggy and I guess like he's supposed to be mixing this concoction to ban your pores or kind of like minimize your pores and minimize like aging, I don't know, but that's what he's at work doing. And I love this because it is 97% Hyaluronic Acid. Like that is so, Hi, I love hyaluronic acid. It's one of my top favorite like anti-aging ingredients. It's really good for helping retain the moisture in your skin. So it's not just good for like hydration, but just retaining the hydration in your skin as well. The next thing I got was the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid by CauseRx. And this says it's a BHA blackhead power moisturizer that is clinically proven to reduce the formation of blackheads and excess sebum. And I thought this would be really especially good with the summer months coming around. And by summer months, I mean now because I live in Dallas and it's already really, really hot, which don't even ask me why I'm wearing a sweater. I have no idea why. I got this mainly to help um, treat the areas where I experience a lot of blackheads on my nose and on my chin. And I definitely feel like when it gets hotter outside, my blackheads get worse. I think this is also good as like a post-workout treatment for the skin, um, just because I am the kind of person that does wear a little bit of makeup on my skin if I'm going outside to work out. And it's really not gonna be doing that, but I do do it. And a lot of times afterwards, I'll come home, wash my face, and I always feel like it's good to go in with like a pore treatment or something that's really going to help further clean out your pores just because sometimes you sweat and if it mixes with your makeup, it can kind of congest that area up a bit. So I like using something like this as well just to kind of help treat that area. So I have three things left. And the first one is the Tony Moly Kiss Kiss Lovely Lip Patch, which just looks like this. I think it's just kind of like a rubbery lip patch that you use to hydrate the lips. And I've seen people using this kind of like around Instagram and stuff like that. So I just was very curious to try it out. This next thing I thought was just too creepy to pass up. It's the Baby Pet Magic Mask Sheet in Soothing Cat. And it looks like that. I just couldn't resist it. I thought it was like one of the creepiest masks I've ever seen. And it actually does have a like um, cat print on the sheet mask itself. This reminded me so much of my friend Chelsea. This is also by Holika Holika, by the way, but it reminded me of her. I don't even think she watches my videos, but um, we're like friends from a long time ago, just because we always love things that are really creepy and cat related. So this just reminded me so much of her. And then the last thing I got is this mask again by Lazy and Easy. And this is their all kill sheet cleansing tissue and all in one mask. So it is a two-step mask and you can kind of see him using like a little cleansing towel. I'm thinking on this side, it says cleansing tissue. And then the other side, it says sheet mask. So this side is the actual mask. And I do believe that there is egg yolk in this um, or it's like an egg type of mask. So yeah, that is the final thing. So that is everything that I picked up. If you guys did enjoy this haul video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Otherwise, if there is anything that I mentioned in this video that you guys would like to see a review on or a demo on, definitely let me know in a comment and I'll be happy to look into that for you. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you all next time. Bye.